Hi viewers, I am Afreen Ali. I brought this video for pipe sizing factors for commercial buildings and non-commercial building. Kindly subscribe my channel. Question, how to calculate basic pipe sizing factors for commercial and non-commercial buildings? Answer, pipe sizing factors for commercial and non-commercial buildings. In order to properly size the potable water system, a number of factors must be taken into account. 1. Building type. Whether the building is residential or commercial will decide how the fixtures are used and therefore how they will be sized. 2. Fixture units. Number and type of plumbing fixtures in the building. This is calculated in FU, fixture units, which is a standardized way to calculate the expected demand, each fixture having a numerical value given to it. 3. Supply pressure. The supply pressure available from the water main will dictate the required size of the water service as well as the requirements of a pressure-reducing valve PRV. For longest run is the distance from the beginning of the water distribution system to the most distant fixture. This will take into account friction loss in the piping and valves. 5. Pressure losses the elevation change from the service to the highest fixture must be calculated to find the pressure drop. Each meter of height drops the pressure 10 kPa, or 140 equals 0.433 psi. Losses caused by water control equipment, treatment systems, pressure-reducing valves, backflow preventers, etc. are also combined and added to the pressure drop caused by elevation changes. 6. Type of piping material the maximum recommended velocity in MPS can be found from the pipe manufacturer specs. Increasing pipe size under the same demand reduces flow velocity. 7. Plumbing codes for the area. For this article, the Canadian plumbing code will be used.